I was just trying to test this out to see if it would be in okay quality it is not but my camera is not working right now so I decided to just do this video anyways so hello people of the internet what is up how are you how are you doing today um my name is G this is like my first official YouTube video I have a few other videos up so far one is one of my performance videos and one was just a night out if you look at my description you'll see that this channel does not have a set priority it is a lot of different things it's because I am a rapper I am a, a spoken word poet I will be putting on my performances so you can see those things and then I love art I love every form of art so of course I am a tattoo artist so you see that I also do do it yourself so I just did this wall right here and this is what this video is going to be about today uh, how I did this wall back here if you can see it's um full of different comics i'm gonna put some close-up pictures so you can really check it out i've got my icon i wish you could really see this this is i just thought it was really cool because i got the two icons behind me so you'll be able to see it wish you could see all this stuff on my camera is not working right now so yeah and i decided to wear my superman shirt in um inspiration of today i guess uh so Hello, Michigan State. I've always wanted to make YouTube videos, but I never knew which concept to go for because I like doing so many different things. So I was like, well, why can't I just do it all? I'll just have a channel with everything on there my arts and crafts, do it yourselves. Um, you'll be able to see my desk and like the different arts and craft things that I, I do, like painted some pine cones like just simple stuff like you know um but decorating tips I don't know I did my chalkboard wall myself I did my wallpaper wall myself and I want to get into that because we're already at nine and a half minutes and I don't want you guys to just walk away so here's the video of how to do this wall back here and I'll put some pictures up too all right see you guys later uh oh uh yeah um I have a giveaway. I know that was kind of awkward what I just did there. I didn't know if I was going to re-record a new video. I'm just going to do this now. So, for the first giveaway, because we did this great comic book wall, I have this chest with this great comic book uh decoupage and I thought it was really cool I painted the inside I painted it all white it still got orange on the inside for your jewelry or whatever so this is going to be our first giveaway I said R like it's more than one person but yeah so it's got you know spider-man on there wonder woman's there so yeah I painted it white I put some cool little beadings up here I'll show you how to exactly do that as well but I just thought it was cool it's got a little mirror on the inside so I thought that was really, really cool, and it's really, really cute. So any girl out there, sorry guys, I don't have anything for you today. But girls, if you want this, just comment below. Um, maybe your, just comment below. I can just click on your name, comment below your Instagram name. I'll follow you on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram um, at just G 
J-U-S-T-G-E-E. -E. I'm going to put it down here. Um, underscore. So that's for my Instagram, for my Twitter. It's two underscores, but I don't really get on Twitter. So if you want to hit me up, go to my um, Instagram. I have a phone call, but I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. And uh, follow me and subscribe and hit that like button. And I love you guys. So see you later. Bye. So the three things that you will need to do this wall is Mod Podge. I Mod Podge. I'm using the gloss one just because I want to. I think it'll look really cool. Um, a paintbrush. I've got a pretty big paintbrush just because I want to be doing uh, big chunks of paper. And then you just need a couple um, comic books. I have a bunch of them, so you know you just rip out all the pages and we're going to be using these so ready let's get going i got this stuff from well i got the paintbrush from hobby lobby for like three dollars but i got the mod podge from mod podge from joann's for i think it was like nine something for the 32 ounce um i had a coupon for 50 percent off one item so that's why i got it for so cheap usually it was like 17 dollars or something which isn't bad the bottom one dry so that you don't get wrinkles I didn't do it down here I don't know if you can see these wrinkles here but yes there's a little bit of bubble in here but once it dries it should be fine and then we will have our comic book wall
Okay, so I've got the majority of the wall done. I'm gonna back up here so you can kind of see. Um, it's pretty dark, we're running on sunlight, but it's like, they kind of go down to a little spoof over there. This is kind of what I was going for. Uh, I can come up close. There's comics, you know, overlays and things like that. I'm gonna just show you how I put like this one is over these in the back so what you do is you just you know how I showed in the beginning you put the Mod Podge, Mod Podge on the wall first so I'm going to do that I'm going to dip my brush don't mind my floor I have clippings everywhere and I wanted to go up here where I have a space so I'm just going to evenly coat the glue over where, or the Mod Podge, sorry, over where I needed to be. I'm terrible at holding this camera. Then you take your paper and you just lay it there. You smooth your edges and you wait for this to dry. It's pretty much on there now. That spot is covered and that's just like how i've got this one down here just basically on there i've got some icon on there different words uh marble versus dc um type things that came with these little things and you know talks about yeah so yeah and so yeah i don't really know what else to say oh yeah so after you do the back what you want to do so that you can get the shiny gloss on there, which I'm going to start now. Uh, I wish it was lighter outside. But once it's pretty dry, you right, wear your hand over it. You know, it's not wet or whatever. You're just going to dip your brush again. Get some off. Not a lot, just a little bit. And you just want to basically paint over everything. And me, I am not a perfectionist. Well, in some ways I am, but just not with things that take all day to do. I'm pretty lazy, so I start wherever and just go over everything. Like if you have like a little lip that's coming up here, you just basically just so you don't see the white anymore. You can kind of see it there and you know, you're just going to keep brushing into this pretty much all over. It's going to dry clear, so it's going to be fine. But don't you don't want it to be clumpy. You want it to be as smooth as possible. So you just basically do this all over everything. So I'm not gonna be able to take myself doing this because this is gonna take probably another hour to do. It took me about two, three hours to get this all up. I watched three episodes of Orange is the New Black. So yeah, about three hours. Maybe like two and a half hours. But yeah, so that's what you're going to want to start doing to your wall of comics and things. It looks really great, you guys. Like, I'm so excited. I'm probably going to add more, like, little things like this. Like, my whole guy up there. Just all over my wall. And it goes with my chalkboard wall over there. So, it's going to be great. And sorry about the quality, you guys. I am recording this on my phone. But, yeah, I'm really liking it. Really liking it, you guys. So great. Alright, um, I'm going to cut this off and finish this. And then I'll show you the finished product when it's done.